What am I doing with my life? I could be making a change in the world. You know, doing some real good. I said I'm just hanging out at a dance club. Well, minimizing. You know, non fatal blows of the blood loss. Oh, it could be some dark vigilant. Ooh, I can think of it now. He. Well, lightning strikes, dark blood, illuminating my presence. And then, from somewhere, this dramatic. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. Stalking the night. Preying upon those who prey upon the innocent. Stalking and hunting them down. Feeding on them. Leaving them empty to husks if they would not change their ways. Ooh, it sends shivers down my spine. But, let's be honest. I have little need of such things. I mean, truly, I suppose it's enough to just exist and do as little harm as possible. Is that delectable scent? My, my. What a beautiful specimen. Hmm. Maybe I'll work up the nerve to go over and talk to her. I mean, really. What's the worst thing could happen, right? She could say no. That hunter that attacked me is worth their salt. They'll know there's a really good chance that I'm not dead. Just undead for the moment. Ugh, I am weak though. That blast hurt me. Well, that specimen from earlier seems to be fleeing the explosion. Right? 
went down that dark alleyway. <laughs> you cannot get away. There we are. Now, let me get a closer look at you. Looks like you forgot your silver tonight. And left your garlic at home. You should know that it's dumb. Though, admittedly fun to wander around the city alone. Now you've run. You've even fallen down. There's nowhere you can run from me throughout this town. So tell me, what are you to do? hurt you. Now, why would I do that? Don't misunderstand. I am hurt and in need of blood. And your plasma is... Oh, so delectable. But I am not without manners. I promise, in return, I will show you a good time. I will take you to my keep, and we can enjoy ourselves in a nice, peaceful environment, away from the hunters that are stalking me currently. By the way, yes, time is a bit of a factor. Ah. Thank you very, very much. my own blood to help heal that wound, hmm? There we are. Wait, what? Really? Well, those are not the laws in this universe. Perhaps another but not this one. I will not turn you just by biting you, although, admittedly, giving you a little bit of my blood may... Hmm, how to explain this? Uh, you'll, you, you may notice some chain... Okay, we need to get out of here. We've dallied too long. Okay, and one portal and... <sighs> Safe. All right, now we're in my lair. Much, much more cozy and much, much more relaxed. Now, how about we talk about what's going to happen to you over some tea? Well, I do not know how it is for other vampires in other universes, but I still enjoy myself a nice cup of tea. Oh, get your mind out of the gutter. Hmm. A 
be right back. See, you barely even noticed I was gone. That is one of the things you will be able to expect in the very near future. It is merely a temporary thing, as you only had a little bit of my blood. But it will enhance your natural abilities and allow your body to perform things that, under normal circumstances, it would not be able to do. Well, just because I need to feed from humans, I see no need to harm them. You humans seem to have a penchant for killing the animals that you feed off of. It's rather disturbing, honestly. Of course, then again, when I was a newly christened vampire, I suppose I wasn't exactly the most kind person to humans. But that's neither here nor there. I just really like to dance. Would you would you care to dance? I have some music. You would? Okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> ah. This is not so bad, is it? Well, this is sort of how I spend my unlife. I dance and try to make the most of things. I was debating about how to make the world a better place, but uh, let's be honest, I'm one person in a sea of people. I have no right to stake some claim over the rest of humanity just because I am more powerful. That is the same tyranny that led us to where we are now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not mean to get philosophical. It's just so rare that I have company. Oh, we could party all night until the sun comes up. At which point I'll have to bid you adieu and then, you know, send you along your way. You have human things to do tomorrow and I need to sleep. Wait. What is that? No, it's not you. What is that smell? What is it you people want? <laughs> Some holy crusade against my kind, I suppose? Or is it the prophet? 
your kind does still enjoy screwing each other over as long as they get a portion of the funds. I acknowledge my sins, human. Do you acknowledge yours? Why am I still alive? I thought you were so gung-ho about ending my unlife. <sighs> torture, is it? I can take torture. Oh, goody. You're going to inject liquid silver into my veins. Joyous. And what hope do you have of getting anything from me if I am dead? Ah, so... You plan to prolong my death. You realize I am not part of some big cabal to overthrow humanity, right? I have no ultimate secret that you may get from me. I just wanted to coexist. Enjoy some dancing. And... Whatever little entertaining things you humans produce. Beyond that, and my need to feed, I saw no need to interact with your kind because of situations like this. But you know, it's, it's not so bad. You see, back when you first exploded my face, I was wounded and in need of some blood to recover. And I found this nice woman who was kind enough to offer me some. In return, of course, I gave her some shelter, a fun time, up until you showed up, of course, and a little bit of my own blood. And now she is staring at you from behind the window. <laughs> Amazing. Knocked out before they even hit the ground. Hmm, interesting. You already have fangs. I was not expecting this. Hmm, maybe I drank a little deeper than I intended. No matter. Let us go and enjoy a nice fizzy beverage, shall we? Of course I enjoy a pop. I don't mock you for calling it soda. Let me enjoy my word for it, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 